Good afternoon folks. Monday, two o'clock. And I'm just about, I'm just about got it. This is the remainder of the stuff that's to sort out. There's all sorts of transmission oil. Straight 30 transmission hydraulic oil. Nearly full. There's all sorts. There's all manner of things. Right, and I've got an empty car again. And this is going to be the last load and it won't be anything like full. So there you go. Onward. Onward. See you later. 4.43. Tuesday. And this could be the last load. This could be the last load. And there ain't much on it. <laughs> Fire bricks, chains, all manner of useful stuff. Grinding blocks for chewing grinding wheels up. I think. I'm not sure about that. Nice lump of quarter plate aluminium. Can't be bad. Right. I'm going to get this lot unloaded I'm going home for some tea I don't know whether I'll release a video this uh, this week or not because you've seen pretty much seen all of this stuff and it's pretty boring circular saw with a whacking grate Crompton Parkinson single phase motor on it with a, a double ended has that been a maybe it's been a grind road no it can't have been a grinder or a polish, there's no thread on it. I don't know what that motor's been off, but it's a special, without a doubt. It's a special. There you go. Circular saw. So, look at that. That's HT lead. That is HT lead. Single insulated rubber covered HT lead. Or plastic covered HT lead. Right, I'll unload and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye now. Right, folks, the big shift it all and tidy up is done. All bad are shouting, we have a bed to move on Friday. <clears throat> and now we begin the big sort. It's Wednesday morning and I've got a couple of hours. To start sorting the wheat from the chaff. So off I go. Catch you later. Hello people. Wednesday. Quarter to five. We are sorting and assimilating. We are sorting and assimilating. But we're about. I think we're. That's the throw out. That's the rubbish. We've even got. Loads of oil. I wish I'd got, I wish I got this before I spent two hundred and sixty pound on uh, oil for the tractor. But this is that's ATF. I think that's uh, hydraulic oil, straight thirty. These are all half full. Oh God, that one's full. What's this one? This one is. 530 fully synthetic for use in petrol and diesel and hybrid engines. Miller's oils. Good gear. Right. I think by the smell there's some soluble oil here but I'm not sure which. So I'm going to have to do some little dab tests. Electric welding rods. I've got plenty. Now, I had none before. So what I'm doing These are the drills Two bridges Don't know what that one is Is that a Dick and Blacker? No I can't read that one I have to clean it off and have a look at it Can you read it guys? But this is the one I haven't tested them yet. I'm going to obviously I'm going to mega them out before I and check that they're earth before I uh, test them.
Unfortunately, this little angle grinder seems to be buggered, but it may be because the spring uh, that connects to the brush has snapped. This is the one I was talking about, the little wolf. Right, my dad had one of those when he was working as an electrician in Bradford in the 50s. So you can tell how old that is. Three, three flint sparkle lighter renewals. I've got one of those as well. well I've got several of those. Uh, and there was, I bet I can't, I bet I can't find it now. I bet I can't find it, but there was a tiny little tin with watch mainsprings in it. It said a, a dozen mainsprings and there's five in it. Tiny little tin from, a, from an American, American watchmaking company. Is it down here? There, look. Now isn't that cute? Mainsprings, Elgin National Watch Company, Chicago, Illinois. Right, one dozen, and there's still, if I can get the, excuse me a minute, there you are, they're all, you see that little piece of brass in the bottom, you can see one there, wound up inside that little brass former, and there's another one, two, three, four, there's five, now whether that's got any value to anybody, I don't know, but what a cute little tin, isn't it? All sorts of things, all sorts of tins. Sure shield laxatives, the pleasant and efficient appearing. Right, I'm going to go home before I drive you all mad. See you later guys, bye. Hello folks. Thursday, afternoon, two o'clock. And I've decided on the mother of all sort outs. Sorely needed. This is the stuff that's more or less to throw away. So there you go. That's the next shelf to be done. So there we go. Madness. Right. I am getting there. The pressure on the bench has reduced. The pile of stuff has reduced. I've still got quite a lot outside. It's a glorious day. It's a glorious day. This is the rubbish so far, plus a lot in there that I haven't brought out here yet. But uh, some of these tools are absolute classics. That's a record. It's not a record actually, it's a pipe cutter, but it's made by record. This saw bench is uh, no good because it's got very small brass bearings on it and not roller bearings or ball bearings like it should have so I'm scrapping this and I'm going to use it like I said I was in the first place as a bench with wheels on that can be bulled about oh my god it's not there that'll be full of sawdust that's not I thought that was an enclosed motor but it isn't it's open right that'll need blowing out but it's very stiff right onward more tidying up, more tidying up. Catch you later. Well that's it folks, Thursday five o'clock. We've cleared an awful lot of stuff out and it's looking a bit better. I haven't done that one yet there, that uh, test gear and tools one. But uh, this is just some of the stuff that's been thrown out, just some of it. And uh, there's still some to go, but it looks a lot better. The only trouble is, I've lost my phone. Right, see you all tomorrow. This will continue tomorrow. And we'll, uh, I hope to get to the bottom of it tomorrow. We'll start over there. The bench has got messy again, but we are getting there. We're sorting masses of stuff out. Okay, see you all tomorrow. Oh, you haven't seen my, my Ryobi drills. Matching pair, matching pair of batteries, both working. 
and uh, there's the big one and the small one. So they're Ryobi, they're cheap and cheap and probably crap, but I haven't got a rechargeable drill, so now I have two. Bye now. And there we are folks, doesn't that look better? It's Friday, it's just gone five o'clock. We've sorted all that lot out. That's some of the rubbish, I've thrown a lot of the rubbish outside. So it's pretty much there actually. I know it still looks a mess. I know it still looks a mess. But uh, I'm pretty much sorted. I shall finish it on Monday because I didn't get back till one o'clock today with taking out delivering all these beds and stuff, so I didn't get back to any other half a day. Files, hammers, and other small tools. Another small tool. So get this lot sorted on Monday and then have it have at it at the saw bench and get the motor off it and the saw blade off it because that's useless as a saw bench because it's not got proper bearings on it and then move that into there and move he said nodding which you can't see move the saw bench and the forge and the new forge back into here which is already cleared out oh, I've got a stack of fire bricks as well a stack of very nice fire bricks uh, and a nice welding helmet for the electric welder uh, but I'm knackered I'm knackered so there you go so that's this week it's not been a very exciting video for you I'm afraid and I haven't done any more on the tractor but uh, I'll get to that next week so thank you all for watching the uh, thank you all for watching me collapsing under the sheer weight of tools and equipment and struggling but out of the struggle comes a new beginning a new beginning of a new tidy workshop I think what I have to do next is to get those uh, get those lin bin things painted up on the wall and get the lin bins hung on them because I've got loads of stuff that can go in lin bins I've got all sorts of bits and pieces that can go in lin bins which will free up shelf space uh, and lin bins are so easy just to walk over and grab something and grab one off right thanks for watching thank you for the likes thank you for the comments keep the comments coming this isn't my favorite sort of job or my favorite sort of video so i want to get finished as soon as i can next week and get reorganized and get back on the tractor i've got some got some black three car here which is ideal for wiring the tractor with uh, i've been thinking about it using single cable makes it a bit more difficult if i use a piece of three car from here go straight down the trunking come out there another piece from that light up there which means I can put a separate earth on it uh, this requires two because it also has a brake light filament in it even though I don't think they had brake lights as standard but I'm not sure uh, we can use that and then we can take one this route and to the front and one from there that route and to the front and then there was supposed to be a little circular junction box uh, just under there somewhere there's a little circular junction box but I haven't got one of those it was missing so I shall think of something else I may even take the bottom the lower dashboard off and join it inside the lower dashboard we shall see because there's only at the end of the day there's only there's only three wires there's only three wires there's an earth uh, a stop light and the tail lights so there's only three wires needed so there you go we'll make it simple see it big keep it simple right I'm going to drag my weary ass off home and have a nice relaxing weekend I hope and let my back get better my back is uh, letting me know that I've been lifting all week okay people see you next week bye now